Hey guys, just want to say, uh, how's it going? I haven't posted any videos in a while, but guess what? Real football is happening right now. Um, we're on July 31st. It's about 9.30 in the evening, uh, East Coast time, and it doesn't get any better. Training camps are, all the training camps are underway. Um, injuries galore. Uh, we can even, yeah, for your, your diehard video game football fans, Madden is on the horizon. That's exciting. And, uh, the first preseason game, Hall of Fame game, August 4th, Sunday night, doesn't get any better. We're finally here. We have finally made it. So let's talk about something major league important when it comes to football, and that's for all you fancy football players out there. Today we're going to talk about quarterbacks. Um, a lot of people don't start your teams with quarterbacks. Um, got a couple do. It's, it's becoming a passing league, so you have to take that into accountability or in, into, uh, into account there accountability what the hell you can tell I've been drinking a little bit of this um what I kind of want to do is is go through uh I don't know maybe by division I haven't really figured it out yet exactly how I want to do this I just want to kind of break down stuff and and talk to you a little bit about who uh who's playing um how I think they're going to do as, as far as fantasy wise um stay away grab them early grab them late um sleeper picks things such as that and well, you'll notice I'm looking down and basically what I'm doing is I'm grabbing my uh, my tablet here and just kind of taking a look at uh, different different uh, things on NFL.com but uh let's, let's I say we just dive right into it um on the AFC side there there's teams you want to stay away from when it comes to quarterbacks the Bills you know I, I heard today on uh, Sirius XM I think it was uh Oh, Rich Gannon was talking about it, and they said Kevin Cobb just does not, you know, he hasn't made it look like he is the the guy. He has, it doesn't make him look like he's he's the he's the one you want. Um, EJ Manuel may actually steal that starting position um, from him. Now, granted, EJ Manuel was like drafted, I believe, 14, 15, 16, right in that range, um, first round this year. So when you see that, you know the guy's going to start sometime this year. But you would like to have it where, um, you know, you got the veteran in there, he kind of kind of helps the kid out, teaches him, uh, lets him catch up to the the speed of the NFL before you throw him out there to the Wolves. The advantage that the, uh, the Bills have, they have a solid run game. They got a good tight end, Scott Chandler, so it's a, it's, it's a good check down. Um, Stevie Johnson's a good wide receiver. They, they drafted a couple receivers that have a lot of potential. But for me, personally, I'm staying away from Kevin Cobb. I'm staying away from E.J. Manuel this year, unless he catches fire. And maybe I can pick him up uh, through the uh, through the waiver wire. But starting off, finish draft, I'm staying away from that. Um, Jets, Mark Sanchez, Geno Smith, that's another... You know, is, is the rookie going to be this guy out? Um, again, Geno Smith taking the second round. If your quarterback's taking the second round, he's going to start for you at some time, at some point this season. Uh, there was reports coming out that Geno has a heck of an arm, but he looked completely out of shape. Rex Ryan saying the exact opposite. Well, not the exact opposite. He loves the arm. Uh, he says that he is uh, he's he's in shape and he's happy with him. Um, Still, I'm staying away from both of them. Uh, I think Sanchez, if you go back, I think the last two years, Sanchez has like 51 interceptions. I'm pulling this off my head, honestly, because if you look, I just got the schedules pulled up here, looking at the Hall of Fame and so forth, and also looking at the divisions for the teams. Um, let's talk Let's talk Miami. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting team this year. Uh, they have uh, uh, Lamar Miller. In uh, place of Reggie Bush this year, Reggie Bush went to Detroit, of course. If you weren't tracking, uh, but the big, the big thing, the big name signing, they they went out and got Mike Wallace. Good for them. Um, they, in my opinion, overpaid for him. I think he's a good, sh you know, he's going to open up the field for you. But the best move that they did for Ryan Tannehill is they got Dustin Keller, and uh, I think Tannehill's going to really have a, a big, you know, I got I finally got a check down guy. I'm, I'm good, you know, I can dump it off here. Tannehill's going to have a decent year. You know, he's not going to be top five quarterbacks, but he's going to have a really good year. Uh, I think he could have a lot of touchdowns. And last year, he he did good on the uh, holding the turnovers down to a minimal. So, you know, you, you got to look at it and think, hey, you know, this year he's only going to get better. Tom Brady, 
Uh, out of the five or six receivers they have on the roster this year, uh, none of them were on the roster last year. They can always bring back guys like Brandon Lloyd and so forth. Uh, doesn't mean they won't, but they don't have them on there right now. Uh, word out training camp, Danny Amendola is the only receiver they have that actually looks like an NFL receiver. That's kind of scary. Uh, if you're in a PPR league, though, you might want to look to pick up Danny Amendola because he's probably going to be Tom Brady's only target. Everybody knows about Aaron Hernandez, kind of kind of sad situation there you know well it is a sad situation um for the families involved for the patriots for the nfl in general <clears throat> gronk he's had four surgeries on his forearm he's got back issues i think he had a back surgery as well he's on the pup list uh, he's he's slated to come back we're not really sure when yet uh, i think they're gonna kind of leave that to to whatever to a guessing game that's what belichick does and he's not going to tell anybody any more than what he has to I think Brady has a, a significant drop in production this year. Uh, nothing against Brady. I, I think he can he can still help this team win. If they get double digits, I'll be impressed. But uh, if if I'm you and uh, I'm I've got you know I to me Brady is not going to go in the top. We'll, we'll be generous. Top eight quarterbacks. That's to me. Okay, take it for you want. It's my opinion. You please voice your opinion in the comments below if you'd like. Um, talk about the AFC North Ravens, Super Bowl champs Flacco, nobody was hotter at the end of the season last year, got his big contract everything else, but he lost Anquan Bolden if you watch the Super Bowl, if you watch the playoffs Anquan Bolden is one of the major reasons they won that thing um, he's already lost Pitta to this, for the season uh, his, his tight end, his go-to guy, yeah, still got uh, Jacoby Jones who uh, showed up out of shape to camp um, Torrey Smith who can stretch the ball down the field but I am worried about this team. I'm staying away from Flacco as well this year. Um, Bengals, Andy Dalton has got to be like a kid at Christmas right now. He's getting to open up all these new toys he has, all these new offensive weapons. And I'm telling you right now, this is a team, this is a, a young quarterback poised to have a really good season. Maybe not top 10, maybe top 15. Um, probably look for him around round 8, 8-9 um, eight, probably in your draft. Uh, Browns, Brandon Whedon, everybody's, uh, everybody who's went to the camps and everything is, is screaming his praises. They say he's got the long ball. He looks good. Uh, Chud and Norv came in. Um, he he matches their offensive style, throwing the ball down the field, just high explosive stuff. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Um, if it doesn't, you know, then <laughs> unfortunately for Browns fans, including myself, it's back to who are we drafting? Please not Manziel. That kid's a freaking trip. Uh, let's, go, let's talk about Pittsburgh. Um, Big Ben, he's he's got angle foot issues, surgeries, all this other stuff. Now he says he feels great, all this stuff. But guess what? You still got that same offensive line. They're weak. They're going to get you hit. Um, you're like the most sacked quarterback ever in the history of the NFL, in my honest opinion. Um, you've went through a lot of damage, and your team's rebuilding. You lost Mike Wallace. Yeah, you still have uh, Antonio Brown. You still have a couple of the key players. But in my opinion, this is another quarterback to kind of, you know, grab him in the late rounds. Don't think about him early at all. Uh, Matt Schwab, you know, that that's another team that looks good. Houston, talking about. Um, they got Andre Johnson on one side. And DeAndre Hopkins uh, is who they drafted to go on the opposite side of uh, Johnson. It's a perfect compliment. I think this is a really good team. Um, they still got... Foster and Tate in the backfield, so it's one of those things that it's it's up to Schaub at this point. Can he do it? Can he be the man? Uh, I think he has to prove it, and if he proves it, I think they can go to the Super Bowl this year. Uh, let's talk about the Colts. Andrew Luck. He's only going to get better. They brought in his offensive coordinator from Stanford. Excuse me. So he already knows the offense that's in place. Um, I I don't see a sophomore slump for this kid. I, I see him getting better this year so if you're looking for again we'll call it a top 15 top 7 top 17 uh, quarterback probably Andrew Luck be your best bet uh, Jags uh, supposedly Blaine Gabbert uh, maybe Chris Henney um, uh, Denard Robinson was drafted as the offensive weapon the team's got a lot of questions uh, and the only question they 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 don't even know how to fill their stadium right now. I mean, that's how many questions they have. I'm staying away from any, uh, really any, any quarterback, any even running back, MJD. Uh, 
in a uh, Jags uniform. Uh, Tennessee, we're talking about, uh, hopefully that didn't screw up, we're talking about Jake Locker. Um, I think he'd be okay, but Tennessee's just, uh, they're under the radar. Maybe they surprise people. Maybe they come out of nowhere and just, bam, there it is. Um, and if that's the case, hey, great. You know, but again, Jake Locker. I'm not, I'm not drafting you in my fantasy league. I mean, you know, and I know what you're thinking. Man, he's not drafting anybody in his, any quarterbacks in his fantasy league. There's not a lot of quarterbacks coming out of the AFC that I'm not excited, very excited about. Um, however, we do still have Peyton Manning for Denver. Got him a new toy, Wes Welker. Uh, the biggest thing is making sure that their, uh, their uh, centers and stuff are good. And uh, I think they're getting that, that handled right now. Um, Kansas City brought in Alex Smith. You know what? The, he's got a lot of tools to use out there. Um, Jamal Charles is going to be catching the ball out of the backfield. Wayne Bowe got that big uh, big contract. Um, I believe it was top five money. He's got to earn it this year. Um, that could be, in my opinion, that could be the team that, that surprises Denver in the, in the AFC West and uh, really, really makes a run for it. Um, Oakland. Oakland, you got... You got Matt Flynn. You just signed. You got uh, Terrell Pryor. Um, I forget the I forget the rookie's name that you drafted. It's it's one of those things that when I look at Oakland, I again I'm seeing a team that doesn't really know their identity, doesn't know where they're headed. Uh, you have an unproven commodity now in Matt Flynn. Terrell Pryor is kind of the fans' choice, I think. Uh, just can they uh, can they get him to win? Can they get him to do it? That's a big question. And then uh, finally in the AFC, you got San Diego Chargers. Uh, you got Phillip Rivers. Uh, great, you know, he's, he's been great all these years under Norv. And, and here's my honest to goodness opinion about this. Um, if they don't make the playoffs, I don't care if they have a winning season. If they don't make the playoffs, say goodbye to Phillip Rivers. Uh, they've, they've been overhauling that team. And I think he's, he will be one of the last pieces to go. Cleveland fans. If Philip Rivers has a good season, even if he doesn't have a good season, if he has a, if he gets released, let go by San Diego, look for North Turner to petition for his boy to come to Cleveland if Brandon Whedon doesn't do the job. Um, again, these are just opinions of mine, but that that covers the AFC West or AFC in total for uh, quarterbacks. Um, I'm getting ready to shoot the uh, the next video here, which will cover the NFC. Um, a lot more potential for quarterbacks on that side. So uh, hope you hope you check out both videos and uh, have a good night.